Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss about MySQL. After watching the video, you will learn introduction to MySQL, features of MySQL, disadvantages of MySQL, frequently used commands in MySQL, types of SQL statements and basic commands related to database and tables. So number one introduction to MySQL. MySQL was created by Swedish company. It was founded by Davis Xmark, Alan Larson and Michael Monty Bidenis. Original development of MySQL was begin in 1994. It was released under the name of co-founder Michael Widenis daughter Mai. The first version of MySQL appeared on 23rd May 1995. It is a freely available open source RDVMS software that uses SQL for its operations. Here you will see a term open source. It means a software with source code that can be inspected, modified or enhanced. And source code means the part of software that most computer user cannot see. Only the technical expert or programmer can see and can improve by adding certain features. So open source means a freely available software whose source code is freely available. Next, it is compatible with standard SQL and used with PHP, Perl, and so many other programming languages. Next, features of MySQL. It has so many pluses in it. Number one, RDVMS software. As we have discussed earlier, it's a relational database management system that helps us in managing large amount of data. Number two, easy to use. Yeah, of course by learning certain basic commands a person can work with mysql so no need to learn all the commands in one go in detail next secure it consists of a solid data security layer that protects sensitive data from intruders and passwords are encrypted in mysql so we can say it's secure next client server architecture it means um, in this architecture a computer work as a server means it provides the services to all the clients and application programs that are connected to a to that particular computer that is working as a server and MySQL having this architecture. It follows a client server architecture. There is a database server and many clients app or I can say application programs which communicate with the server for querying data and save changes. Next free to download. Yes, it's free to use or freely available. So you can download it from its website that is mysql.com next scalable as we have discussed it helps us in managing large amount of data so i can say it can handle almost any amount of data up to 50 million rows or more and the default size is about 4 gb that can be extended up to 8 tb next allows rollback yes that's right its transaction to be rollback, commit and crash recovery. Rollback and commit we will discuss later on in this video and crash recovery means if there is any damage in our software then it can recover that damage or data. Portable means it is independent of any hardware or software means we can run it on any hardware or any operating system like novel networks, windows, linux and many varieties of unix such as solaris, os2, 
previous days and many more. Next, high performance. Yes, it's it is having high performance and high productivity as well. It is faster, more reliable, and cheaper because of its unique storage engine architecture. Next, disadvantages of MySQL as we know very well. Everything has some pluses and minuses. So, in the same way, in the same queue, MySQL is also a uh, few minuses in it. Number one, it does not support SQL check constraint. Means, if we'll talk about check constraint, the, the documentation and explanation in MySQL is available about this check constraint, but if we will apply this practically, then it does not work. Next, it is accused that it does not have a good developing and debugging tool compared to other paid databases. Debugging means uh, removing the errors or uh, we can say uh, checking out a particular software or parts of software, whether it is working properly or not. It does not support a very large data size as efficiently. Yes, it supports large data size, data size, but somewhere not that much efficiently as the user required. So these were all the drawbacks of MySQL. Next, some frequently used commands in MySQL. Number one, help. It is very useful command. With the help of this command, you can check out as we have discussed, a new user can work with MySQL while learning some basic command. So with the help of this command, a new user can check out the detailed information about a particular command that is available under MySQL documentation. Next, quit. If you want to quit or exit the window of MySQL, simply you can close, click on close, close button or you can press this command slash q next if you want want to cancel the command like you have written something mistakenly and you want to cancel that you can simply press this command that is slash c and next if you want to switch from one database to another database then you will use this command that is use command so here you will write use database name Types of SQL statements. As we have discussed, MySQL is a RDBMS software that uses SQL for its operation. Here, SQL stands for Structure Query Language. SQL statements has so many commands in it. Here, number one, DDL. DDL stands for data definition language the commands comes under this are create drop alter truncate create means it is used to create a database object here i have used a term database object what does it mean i have discussed about object in detail in my skill tutorial part one so again i'll be giving the example of object is table so create command it is used to create a table or i can say a new table drop command it is used to remove a particular table from the database completely or i can say Permanently. Alter command it is used to change the structure of an existing table in the database, such as you can use this command for adding a new column to the existing table, removing a new removing a column from the table. If you want to change the data type of a particular column, or if you want to change or rename a column then you can use alter command and last one is 
truncate command it is used to remove the content of a particular table rather than removing the table structure and the benefit of this is we can use it later on next is dml statement it stands for data manipulation language commands comes under this insert update delete insert if you want to insert a new row in the in the database or i can say in the table then insert command will be used for an example if a student comes to my school my school my school to take a admission then we can insert his or her record into the database by using insert command next update command it is used to update the data if you want to update the contact number of a particular student then we will use this command last one is delete it is used to remove the table record or if you want to remove the record of a particular student from the table then we will use this command next dcl data control language it has two commands grant and revoke grant means for an example <coughs> as we have discussed sql is secure means it can handle this by providing or by assigning certain user id and passwords to the users for an example if a person dealing accounts then he or she can view the details related to account if a person is handling it then he or she can view the details related to it only and a marketing personnel can view the details only related to the marketing but in case of grant if you want to grant or grant means to give the permission so if you want to give the rights to the it personnel to view the details related to accounts as well then we can use grant command by granting the permissions a it personnel can view the details of it and accounts as well revoke means we have already assigned the revoke means to remove the permission like earlier we have assigned some rights to to an it personnel to view the details related to accounts but he or she has done or completed his task his or her task then we can remove or remove those rights or permission from that it personnel so revoke means remove next tcl transaction control language commands comes under this r commit rollback and save point commit means we have done our task successfully means uh, in real world example like a teacher have given an assignment to solve and you have solved that assignment on the same day then you have completed your task in in if i'll talk about more technically then um, i have raised a query to insert the details of a particular student and that that information has been inserted in my table successfully then that is called commit or or one more example i can say if i am transferring money from account a to account b and this money has been transferred successfully from account a to account b then we can say it has been committed next is rollback it is just like undo command for an example you have in ms word you have written a spelling wrongly then you can simply press control z undo the command or undo undo the work whatever you have written in the same way in database if you have inserted the record of for an example if you have inserted the record of amit in the table that has already been taken the tc from my school then that is wrong so for removing his record from the database 
you will execute whole wake command just inserting after the data because you have done this insertion of record of summit in place of amit next save point in real life example suppose you have marked a point or place or topic in your book from where you have to start reading tomorrow or suppose you have marked or encircled a particular topic that you need to ask to your chief teacher so that is the save point but in computer language save point a point in database a mark in database from where transaction need to be executed that is called save point next is dql it's data query language commands comes under this select it is used to select the data from the database or i can say from the table as per the user requirement so it is going to select the required data from or fetch out the required data from the table so that's all about a skill statement in this video and syntax and all we will be discussing later on in in upcoming videos next commands related to database and tables number 1 if you want to show or check out the list of available in database list of available databases in sql server then you can write it down like show databases next if you want to switch from one database to another database for an example then you can use use database command use command and you may write use database name semicolon for an example if you are currently working with school database and you want to switch to the college database then you have to write use college semicolon then you will be getting into that college database next if you want to see the available tables if you want to see the list of all the available table in your current database that is college database then you can you may write the command